God, empower me to put healthy boundaries in place. This is really practical. When you feel like, okay, look, maybe I'm being manipulated. I don't know how to deal with this, this person or this situation. Then God, help me to put healthy boundaries. Let's go back to Matthew and pick up where we left off with Jesus and Peter's conversation. Remember, Jesus spelled out the plan. Peter mo- pulled him aside to rebuke him and manipulate him. And look at Jesus' response. Look at this. It says, and Jesus turned to Peter and said, get away from me, Satan. This is the guy who Jesus just congratulated like a few verses ago for totally having the mind of God. And how quickly can it turn? He says, get away from me, Satan. You are a dangerous trap to me. You are seeing things merely from a human point of view, not from God's. Guys, I want you to see what Jesus did here in an instant. He immediately threw up a healthy boundary between him and Peter. Now, he loves Peter. Peter's one of the inside circle. But Jesus immediately threw up a healthy boundary so that Peter couldn't control him. Now, there are a few really important things that I want you to realize as we get ready to close this out. Uh, Things that God kind of spoke to my heart when I read these verses, and they, they will have a profound impact on your ability to throw up a healthy boundary when you're dealing with a situation. Here's the first thing that that jumped off the page as I was reading these verses, that Peter was very close to Jesus. Peter was like, If you know much about Jesus and the disciples, it was Jesus, Peter, James, and John, and then the other guys, right? And then there was probably like 120 others that followed Jesus all over over the place, right? So among the 12, Peter, James, and John were the closest. They saw more of everything that Jesus did than everybody else got to see, right? So the threat of manipulation on Jesus didn't come from the masses. It came from somebody that was that close to Jesus, Guys, can I warn you that sometimes we have to throw up healthy boundaries with people that are really close to us. It doesn't mean that we don't love them. It doesn't mean that we hate them or we feel they're evil or they're horrible. But we have to be aware that sometimes manipulation comes right from close to us. Tim, that's why I have to put up healthy boundaries with you. (laughs) Second thing we have to realize, guys, right? Second thing we have to realize is that when Jesus called Peter Satan, how many think that was a little bit aggressive, right? And he could have said, I think it's aggressive. I mean, whoa, Satan? I mean, I just said, I don't want you to die. When, Peter, when Jesus called Peter Satan, he wasn't associating Peter with Satan. In fact, I believe he was disassociating Peter from Satan. Here, let me explain what I mean, okay? When Peter tried to sidetrack Jesus, Jesus said, get away from me, Satan. He wasn't calling Peter Satan. He was acknowledging what was behind the motivation for what, why Peter said what he was saying. He wasn't calling his close friend the devil. What he was saying was, I know it's not you. There's something else going on behind you right now, and that is what he was calling. You guys get what I'm talking about? Je- Jesus, Jesus was saying, Peter, this isn't you. What you're saying to me right now is our enemy. You don't even realize what you're doing right now. But he was disassociating him. What does that mean for us? When people try to manipulate us, we, we need to realize that manipulation isn't their identity. It's just that they're, they're caught up in things that, whether it's their childhood, how they grew up, what they're going through, their own difficulties, it might even be the enemy, right? I'm not saying call your grandma Satan next week when she puts pressure on you if you don't come for Christmas, okay? Don't do that, okay? That's not a good idea. But you get what I'm saying, that Jesus was drawing the line to say, look, this is not you right now. This is not you, but it's the enemy, right? And so when we set up a healthy boundary, it's not against the person. You get that? It's not like I can't stand my grandma, so I got to put this healthy boundary up. No, you love your grandma, but she's manipulating you right now. So you, we need to say, I understand what's behind this, and I got to put up a healthy boundary. Everybody get what I'm talking about? These are things that we need to pull away from this. So it's so important, and, and, and here's what it says, and, uh, and, and this is what it means for us. When others try to manipulate us, and we realize it's not uh, their identity, it's something at work behind them. We need to throw up this boundary. It says, and, and here's another thing that's really important. One more thing I want you to understand. Jesus turned to Peter and said, get away from me, Satan. And look what he said. You are a dangerous trap to me. Guys, if Jesus, God in the flesh could acknowledge, right, that manipulation was a dangerous trap even for him. How much more do we need to realize that it's a dangerous trap for us? 
that you can find yourself in a cycle in your life of being manipulated. Everybody's still...